Unfortunately, it's another day of zero days being found in firewalls. Cisco has warned customers to patch two zero day vulnerabilities that are actively being exploited in attacks and impact the company's firewall software. The first one allows for authenticated remote attackers to execute arbitrary code on devices running vulnerable ASA and firewall threat defense or FTD software, while the second CVE enables remote attackers to access restricted URL endpoints without authentication. This is not good news. They are referring to this VPN web server remote code execution vulnerability, which is critical and has a score of 9.9 .9 out of 10. This was published 25th of September, 2025. This vulnerability is due to improper validation of user supplied input in HTTPS requests. An attacker with a valid VPN credential could exploit this vulnerability by sending crafted HTTP requests to an affected device. A successful exploit would allow the attacker to execute arbitrary code as root, possibly resulting in the complete compromise of the affected device. Cisco is recommending that you update your software Software, there are no workarounds for this vulnerability. And on Cisco's website, they show you possible vulnerable configuration on these devices. You can see that they're talking about Ike and SSL VPNs here, and the same on FDD software. Okay, Bleeping Computer also mentions this. While it didn't directly link it to these attacks, Cisco have also patched a third critical vulnerability with this CVE number in firewall and Cisco iOS software, which allows unauthenticated threat actors to execute arbitrary code remotely on unpatched devices. And here it is once again, remote code execution, critical score of 9.0. This is really bad. We're seeing multiple zero days on Cisco devices. I've just created a video on a zero day on Cisco iOS devices. This is from the 24th of September on Bleeping Computer. So we have a zero days with regards to SNMP on Cisco iOS and iOS XE software, and again, VPN zero days on Cisco ASAs. Very sad to see that firewalls, which are meant to protect you, have these issues. In a long form video with Occupy the Web, we discussed issues with VPNs, and a lot of people got upset with some of the comments, but notice how this is happening. Notice how VPNs are causing a lot of problems. SSL VPN specifically, lots of zero days from lots of vendors. Very sad to see this. But what are your thoughts? Have you got devices that you, are patching? Is it another really bad day for you where you have to go and patch lots and lots of devices?